I'm Eamon Javers in Washington with more on this breaking news story involving the Associated Press sending out an inaccurate tweet. The AP saying Tuesday now that its Twitter account had been suspended following a hack and says that it is working to correct the issue. Also in this Associated Press story about the Associated Press now, we're seeing that they're saying that the attack here came after hackers made repeated attempts to steal the password of AP journalists. That led to the Associated Press's Twitter account sending out an erroneous report that there had been explosions at the White House and that President Barack Obama was injured. And guys, I should tell you that our social media team here at CNBC uh, has done some digging here, they find that the Associated Press Twitter account has 1.9 million followers as of today, and this tweet in question was up for at least four minutes, so that's a fairly long time uh, in the Twitter sphere for something to be up there. But as we said, at the White House briefing, which coincidentally happened just moments later, the Associated Press reporter, who traditionally is the first person to get a, get a question at the briefing, immediately cleared this up. I believe we have tape of that moment. If we have tape, let's play that now. And I'm told that we don't have the tape. We'll try to rack that and get that ready for you guys. But as I said, the Associated Press reporter there uh, immediately clarified this and said that there was an error, right. that their account had been hacked. And the White House press secretary, Jay Carney, said that the president is fine. And in fact, he had just been with him a few minutes before. So uh, uh, clearly another example here now in this hyper-fast media age of how things can get out of control pretty quickly. But luckily enough, in this case, they got back in control pretty quickly as well. And in a very, very nervous environment. Thank you very much, Amy.